talent shows, there really is no one bigger than the legendary Simon Cowell. Now, the blunt and quick-witted Brit has landed himself a new gig, and we think it might surprise you. Yeah. Here is your exclusive first look. Tonight, I'll be eating rice and some spices and zucchini linguine. The chicken flame grill. I've eat. already eaten. Oh, Grey Wiggle, dinner is better when we eat together. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Congratulations. I now hate music. <laughs> I like the Grey Wiggle. <laughs> Quiet, red <laughs> one. Oh, yeah. The best? Ladies uh, and gentlemen, give it up for the Grey Wiggle himself, Mr. Simon Woo! Cowell, everyone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I had no idea you were not a fan of Zucchini Linguini. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you what, my friend, it's great to see your face. You look fantastic. How are you feeling? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, I feel great, actually, yeah. Um, weirdly, after breaking my back last year, I feel fitter than I have done for a long time because I've got exercise now. I'm just looking at you there. We can, we can see your knees. So, I mean, it's summer in the UK. It's very sexy. It's summer. The world is opening <laughs> up to you. We're very jealous right now. Things are pretty good where you are, aren't they? They're getting better. You know, it's step by step. Um, I look, compared to where we were a year ago, which was, you know, pretty bad, um, every week, you know, it, feel, it feels more optimistic. At least we understand this thing better now. Uh, did you find the whole thing um, pretty tiresome in the end? Well, I've got to be honest with you. Um, uh, I was in um, LA most of last year when it happened, um, and uh, I didn't, you know, being under lockdown for me wasn't really a problem. I get on really well with Lauren, my partner, <laughs> had time with Eric, so uh, I got Zoom, so it was, you know, just dealt with it. So, I mean, you've worked with some of the biggest names in the music industry. I mean, One Direction is just one of them. Tell me where The Wiggles mm. compares. I mean, <laughs> in my mind, it's got to be number one. Oh, 100%. I love them. I mean, they are so funny um, and so happy. Um, and now I've got, like, a son, you know. And get them. <laughs> you know, uh, no. I, I've got a... Look at them. I'm always happy. <laughs> it's unbelievable. They're never grumpy, and that's why it's such a great juxtaposition seeing you as the grey wiggle. Um, they bring so much happiness. I've got a one-year-old now, and I get, I get your attitude in all of this. It's like, yeah. guys, can you stop smiling at some point? <laughs> 100%, they never stop smiling. And, and when um, I got approached to do this commercial, I thought someone was winding me up. It was like, well, <laughs> because I'm the same thing. And then when I, saw, I read it, it really cracked me up. I thought it was so funny. And I got this really sweet message from them. I mean, they are very, very nice people. I mean, I've got to tell you. Yeah, but isn't the fact they are so happy and always smiling a little bit annoying to you? <laughs> Yeah, and weirdly, as we shot the commercial, and it did take a long time, I started to get more and more irritated, which I think they kind of liked. Um, that's what made the whole thing so funny. Well, I do hear it was a toss-up between you um, and Piers Morgan in the <laughs> Grumpy Stakes. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> OK, well, I'll, I'll let Piers know that I won the campaign. This has made it even better. <laughs> Well, so, he's so grumpy at the moment. Somebody, he was on our show a couple of weeks ago. Somebody's got to give the man a job. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know what to say about that. Um, but Piers, I've known Piers a long time. He's always been grumpy, to be honest with you. Um, I'm sure Byron. <laughs> well, he learned from the best, didn't he? <laughs> Actually, yes, yeah, a good point. Actually, um, yeah, I remember when he got fired uh, years ago. Um, I did say to him at the time, "It's probably the best thing that's ever going to happen to you because you'll have a great career on TV." Um, but you know, here's his peers. You know, we never. Just, I've got my dog here, Swidley. She doesn't like. Being very, she's been very grumpy as well. She doesn't like Pierce. I thought maybe. That's <laughs> it. <laughs> Quiet, be nice. We're on Australian TV. This is completely <laughs> changing your image, Simon. I mean, look at the, the puppy dog. It's 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 little and it's mm. cute. It's not a Doberman. Not um, sure. You're doing you're doing ads <laughs> with the Wiggles. What's happened to you? You've changed. 
I don't know. Uh, maybe it's the fact, I, like I said, I've now got a son, Eric. Um, I'm happier than I've ever been in my life before. So, um, uh, yeah, no, I, it's, um, I don't really know what to say, actually. Just things are good. Is One Direction getting back together? Because that would just complete the whole thing. <laughs> oh, I'd love that to happen. Um, I think it will happen. Um, I think if they got together, whether they're making records again or touring again, I think it would be the most amazing thing. I'd love it to happen. So who's holding out? Because we know some of them um, um, have, have said that they'd be very keen for... Harry's too successful. Ha yeah, Niall's keen. I know Niall's <laughs> keen. Who's the one who's holding out? I don't know, to be honest with you. If I could get in a room with them um, and just say to them, you know what, whether it's six months or something, I think it will, you'd have such a great time and enjoy each other's company again. Maybe I could persuade them. Um, but I think they should do it, definitely. And the fans, of course, would love it. I read somewhere that you're starting also your own uh, musical talent show. Tell us a bit about that. Um, well, I'm, well, we're making a couple of new shows. We just announced a new one, um, which we're going to, which uh, goes on TV this year, mm -hmm. um, which is a different type of talent show. And then in a couple of weeks time, we're announcing another new show. Um, I can't say what it is at the moment because I haven't signed the contract, but I'm excited about it. Um, uh, but you know, I don't know. People still love these shows. Thank God. They um, do. But these are different to what I've done before. You know, I, I mention it because Ali, my, my beautiful co-host, um, she is an incredible, incredible singer. This uh, is true. She captivates the nation with her voice. Um, and and she'd, I think she'd like to serenade you now with a little bit of Mary J. Blige, perhaps, Ali. Something, you know. Uh, well, only if we do the U2 duet. <laughs> One love, one life, you got to do, do what, what you could. <laughs> you say love is a temple. Love's well, a you, you've got to give me more warning, my friend. It's only Simon Cow. Further <laughs> <laughs> wiggles, and I'm not kidding. All right, we can do that too. Hot potato, hot potato. Sing it, you know you want to, Simon. Oh, spaghetti, cold spaghetti. <laughs> I can't get that song out of head, by the way. No, all of their songs Every are Every single parent with a young child, we cannot get that song out of our head yeah, either. Is. Lovely to see your, your handsome face, and we hope to see you down under very soon, Simon. Um, all the very best. Lovely to have you on our program. That was a great interview, by the way. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah winners. Wait, wait, did he say we're great singers? We're, yeah, great singers. That's what yeah. I heard. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Simon. All the best. We blew it. It was our chance. That was my chance to make you know, it. Like, and you chose the song I didn't know. I know but some, I'm so mad at you. Sometimes it feels like a good idea at the time. <laughs> and, then, and then when you see it back, it's horrendous. It didn't work, did I don't it? know how we have any viewers. <laughs> <laughs> but we're sure glad you're out there. Thank you. Mm. Still to come, we've got more COVID exposure sites announced overnight in Sydney.